Hello and welcome to episode 3 of Euro Truck Simulator First Play. So we've done a few journeys so far. We did. Um, we started in London, drove around there, and then we did Birmingham to Cardiff. And now we're going to try something... something else. So again you see we still can't afford to buy our own truck yet so we're going to keep doing some higher journeys. So we're going to decide to take a quick job, yep, let's see what jobs are available. Route length. Really we want to try and get as much XP or as much money as we possibly can. So we're going to um, sort this by price. Cardiff to Southampton. Radiators. Six ton. That looks quite good. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. We're going to take our job. Cardiff to Southampton. Let's see how this goes. It's still raining outside. If you remember last time we left the game, it was raining. Um, we had to go down that deep quarry, but we seem to have moved location now. So this time we've got a Scania truck, and we're going to go ahead and start the engine. Check that our mirrors are okay. Have a quick look around the truck. Nice little sunroof again. Similar sort of layout. radio up there in case we need some music along the way. Otherwise I think we're good to go. So we're going to uh, put the truck into first gear, release the parking brake and put our foot on the accelerator. Well, what we probably could do with doing is putting the window wipers on. I wonder if we should add lights really as well. Not sure what buttons do the lights. So we won't be doing any lights just yet. Uh, let's just check the traffic. The car coming here, we'll just let this car go by. Good. And then we're good to go. Again it looks like we're carrying a kind of sea container. is full of radiators. Good, so we're on our way out of Cardiff. The weather's not been kind to us in Wales. Just got to keep our eye on that speed again. Uh, we have a tendency to go very slightly over 30 miles an hour. We're back down the single track road. So far my impressions of Euro Truck Simulator, it's been a good game. Um, the scenery is very impressive. Uh, the detailing on the trucks is also very impressive. The realism seems, seems good. I mean, it's been a bit of a challenge for most of the journeys. The weather conditions, the lighting is particularly good. Um, where you get the sunshine, and then um, it, 
and the reflection on the road where the rain is, things like that, are very impressive. Um, it's a real step up from what you'd normally get. These canes, we're just trying to turn those window wipers off, cool. And the sun is coming back out, it's always good to see. So this journey is a little bit longer. Estimated arrival time is Monday at 21.49 and it's currently 18.33. So we've got about three hours on the road ahead of us. Should be fun, should give us a chance to really get to grips with our truck. Got more police going by there. I like these you get these little coaches that travel around as well. Good to see. So we want to turn right here. And out of here we need to slow down. Just check the traffic, that road sign is right in the way. All clear there. And it looks like all clear there. Yeah, doing the, the view with the mouse, I guess that's something that's not great because you have to take your hands off the steering wheel can't view can't view the road at the same time uh, but you get used to it uh, it's not been too bad at the moment it's always good to see other trucks on the road Okay, so it looks like we're going to go up onto the motorway here, heading back towards Birmingham. Just getting used to the braking as well as the other thing. Um, don't need to brake quite as much as you think. The other is the weight of the trailer. Often when you're going up the hill you can feel the weight pulling you back a bit. This isn't quite as bad as the last episode. Uh, last episode, that trailer, you can really feel it on the hills. This is only six tonnes, so this is more manageable for this kind of truck. Uh, but my understanding is that as you progress, you can get bigger, more powerful trucks, which will obviously be able to haul heavier trailers. Good to get a chance to Drive one of those tanker trucks would be good. Watching out for the speed cameras again. As we head back over the seventh bridge, I think it's the seventh bridge. Bridge, maybe wrong. Nice wind sock there, telling us the wind direction. Uh, we're going to get caught cool speeding. Yeah, I think we just got away with that. A couple of miles over the speed limit. And just try and hold it. See, I think you can get cruise control on a lot of these trucks as well. I'm not sure which keys you use for cruise control. If anybody knows, then feel, feel free to add that in the comments to help me out. Again, the detailing in the road signs is really helpful. I mean, I like to use the sat nav, but you could really drive just by following the road signs. You don't necessarily have to follow the sat nav. I guess one of the things that would be nice is a bit more traffic on the roads. Seem fairly quiet. Often, when you get into the towns, it's a bit busier. But out on the motorways, I've not seen that much traffic. I'm just going to head up here onto the M5. Again, nice clear motorway. Not sure why that truck is right over in the fast lane there. Ooh, that car went very close behind him. Trying to speed him along. We are coming back down here. Slow this down gently and steer our way around. Some of these
these bends seem to go on forever. You get quite a bit of repetition of the layouts as well, a junction like that seems quite similar throughout the game. Alright, let's see if we can overtake this truck. This truck I'm driving at the moment seems to be quite quick actually. Quite a nippy little truck. Partly because we've got that lighter trailer on. I have to cut in front of this guy now. If you won't mind. There we go. And we've got quite a steep descent here. Down. I'm not sure if this is a junction, if it's one way. The lighting is great. Well, you can see the shadows of the trees. It's really nice. It makes the environment feel very realistic, and you have the reflection in the wing mirrors as well. Get that kind of summer, summer haze. Just a reminder that I'm still driving this in fully automatic, um, just using the pedals, the steering wheel. Seems the easiest way at the moment as I get used to the game. Um, I do have an H shifter. I don't quite know how that's going to work with 12 gears. But I will try and give that a go at some point. That's what you ever seem to see on the roads is police. Oh, hot air balloons then. What a nice day to be up in a hot air balloon. That's a nice little touch. I'm guessing this is around summertime. Mentioned in the last video, I'm not sure whether you get seasons or not. This currently has a bit of a summertime feel to it. Hill again. Yeah, we've got foot fully down. That bend was a bit tighter than I expected. It's nice. It's nice to be off the motorway. A lot of these um, lorries carrying cattle as well. Must be deep in farmland around here. Definitely interesting pylons in the distance. So as we start to make a bit more money, we're going to have to start looking at what trucks to buy. Uh, so if anyone has any advice on a good first truck, let me know. We do 
do have a depot set up back in London. At the moment we've only got 9,000 euros. I don't imagine that's going to be enough to purchase a truck. And while we're just getting used to the game, it's it's fine driving around as a freelance driver. Taking deliveries as and where we need to. It's getting light, uh, dark out there. I'm not sure how to use my lights. I just need to try and figure this out. Oh, there we go. So we seem to have a high beam and a low beam. Oh, we just almost missed our turning. Oh, a bit of an emergency stop there. I was looking, busy looking for the button to turn the lights on. I almost missed our stop. Almost missed our turning. We've got good use, good use of the brakes there. It's a good truck, this. It's getting here. We've got someone trying to overtake us. It's the police. We'll let them go. So you're heading over the motorway. You can see the motorway signs there. Slow down a little bit as the police are up ahead. These roads are quite narrow, uh, particularly for a large truck like this. Tricky to understand the spatial awareness. We're not doing a bad job, we've not had any accidents so far. Um, don't think we've had any speeding tickets either. Okay, so I think we're almost there. So we've done that in pretty good timing. 146 was the estimated time of arrival. And we're going to arrive at almost that time. I think we get to see the stars now in the sky. It's pretty cool. Okay, so we're going to pull into Southampton. Southampton discovered. Hey! I wonder how many towns there are in this game to discover. I imagine there's quite a few. It looks as though it's up here on the left. Come away the traffic lights. Not sure if you need to go quite that wide there, but we do. And I think we're going right up here, so I'm not sure if it's this one. Yeah, I think it's the next one. This one up here. Over into here. marker and we press enter and uh, let's go for full XP where do you want it it doesn't look too bad we need to drop it right next to that trailer over there okay so this time rather than it taking us such a long time to complete we're gonna swing around here Ramps. Nice little factory, this one. Um, and we will swing right around here. What I'm going to try and do to get this a bit straighter so that we're almost halfway there already. 
D. Stick it into reverse. And no, that's the wrong way. We just want to very slowly take it round. I want to try and avoid that other trailer. That ramp is looking good. This is looking good. Oh, we need to get straight again. Not happening quite as quickly as I would have liked. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Oh, that's not bad. First attempt. Let's put it back into first gear. Let's just take it straight it up a little bit. Okay, and this should do it now. Let's take it back one more time. Look at this. Look at this. Second time and we're gonna get it almost spot on. I think the key is to take it very slowly. Mm, not quite spot on. Not bad, not bad for a, a beginner. We're going to hit T and we decouple that. Put the parking brake back on and excellent again. So we've driven 147 miles, took nearly four hours, consumed 117.8 litres of fuel and look at that it's put us up to level two if you get to level three we've got to get 1400 points so that's the next challenge so once again thank you for watching another episode of let's play euro truck simulator first look hope you enjoy me hope you enjoyed the episode and join me for the next one